welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to show you how to upgrade the memory in a laptop or netbook computer. I'm going to be working on my Acer Aspire 1 725. However, the techniques I'll show you are applicable to just about all laptop or netbook hardware. My Acer Aspire 1 725 came with 4GB of RAM, which I'm going to upgrade to 8GB. To do this, I'll be fitting this crucial 8GB SODIM, or Small Outline Dual Inline Memory Module. This is the latest DDR3 or Double Data Rate 3 memory, and runs at 1333 MHz, or if you like, 1 the third GHz. When doing an upgrade, it's of course essential to get the right memory for your machine. One of the best ways to do this is to use a system scanner to check the memory you need, and here I use the scanner available from crucial.com forward slash system scanner. This downloads a single executable file, which you then run to find out what type of memory your computer uses. As you can see, the Crucial Scanner has recommended a 4GB DDR3 SODIM running at 1333 MHz. Now in theory, this is the maximum memory that you can put in an Acer Aspire 1 725. However, I happen to know that 8GB will work, so I've taken the basis of the spec here and have bought the 8GB module. This said, if you are in any doubt at all, I would always recommend following a system scanner recommendation exactly. Right, we've now got to the point where we can start to, to fit the memory. Um, first thing we need to do is to remove the battery from the laptop, so we'll just flick it over and we just have to slide aside this little cover and the battery will come out. Now, as we're fitting memory, we want to be really, really certain there's no power in this machine. So what I'm going to do is just to open it up there and just to press the power button, hold it down a couple of seconds, and that will make absolutely certain there is no power in the circuits of this computer. Having done that, let's take it back uh, upside down again. Let's, let's go that way so you can see properly. We now need to remove the bottom panel. All laptops and netbooks will have some kind of panel on the bottom. This is quite a big one. Some are smaller, but they'll all have some sort of panel. If we just take that thing off, take out just one screw here, there we are, screw is out, and then we can now, with a gentle push, get the panel off the bottom, and there we are, inside the machine. As you can see, the existing sodium is here, just, just one slot. All I have to do is to very gently release the little catches on both sides, it flips up, and the thing comes out. I'll then take the new module from its packaging, um, slot it in, they go in at an angle like the old one came out, slot in like that, you can see it's clearly in place, and we just pop down on the edges and it will click in, and there you are, our memory has now been fitted. All I now need to do is to replace the cover, which should be a fairly straightforward operation, just drop it into place, and it will click in, hopefully, like that. Um, take the case screw, Put that back in. Oh, my neighbor's burglar alarm is going off, how marvelous. Um, put the screw in there. With the screw in place, I can then just replace the battery. And we've now got a memory upgraded computer. Okay, so both you and I will now want to see whether it still works, so I'll open it up and boot it up. Hopefully the machine will still work. Uh, this is the machine I do a lot of my writing on and my, my web creation work, so it'd be good if it still, still existed. Um, it seems to be going okay. Uh, did I really need to take this from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes? Well, you could say maybe, maybe I didn't. Um, it's always nice to have more memory though, and particularly on a machine like this which has an SSD as its boot drive, uh, on which I therefore turned off the Windows swap file, so more memory is always a good thing. Looks like it's going to get into Windows OK, I think it is. Just need to put my password in. There we are. Always good to have a password on a machine that's so portable that people could run off with potentially and get to access to all of your materials. And there we are. 
it's come up absolutely fine. And just to see things are working all right, I will click properties from my computer, or computer as we call it now. And yes, there we are, uh, a machine with eight gigabytes of memory now, 7.73 usable because the rest is used for a shared graphics memory. Installing more memory is one of the easiest and most effective upgrades for any laptop or netbook computer. Do be aware, however, that if you're running a 32-bit operating system, you shouldn't expand your memory beyond 4 gigabytes, or your system won't be able to address it. To check, go to Computer, right-click and select Properties, and you'll see straight away if you're running a 32 or 64-bit system, and if you're running 64-bit, you can expand your memory beyond 4 gigabytes. But that's now it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.